Not everybody likes everybody, not even you. Actually, even that part is, let me come back, because uh, when I say not not even you, it sounds like I'm saying nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody likes them, and nobody likes you. <laughs> Welcome back to the most exciting episode of Dirty Laundry Yet. I'm Paul Brunson, Tinder's expert in relationship insights. We're getting up close and personal, and we're getting down and dirty. We're gonna be talking about what it means to date yourself. You heard me. We've talked about getting started with dating. We've talked also about safe dating. And we've talk, talked about communication. But for today's episode, we're dishing the dirt on all things you. That's right. When dating, you have to remember that you need to date yourself. It's crucial for self-love, for self-discovery, for personal growth, building your own independence, boosting your confidence. It's invaluable. And it's true that dating yourself ultimately leads to better relationships. Remember, not just with yourself. So what I want us to do right now is let's get down and dirty and find out what you really need to know. So here's how you take care of your mental health while dating. You have to remember that when you start dating someone new, it can be so exciting to the point where you forget about everything else. It can almost feel like the only person in the world is this new person who's just entered your world. Now this is completely normal, but it's also crucial to take a step back, take a deep breath, and make sure you're not forgetting the things that existed before that person. You know who the most important one is? You. Don't forget about you. Now, we all have things that have brought us happiness outside of another person, just like our habits and our routines. And these can easily be forgotten when we bring a new person into our lives. Don't forget about those things that made you, you. After all, these are the things that likely your partner fell in love with in the first place. You also surely have people who have been through many ups and downs throughout your life. This is your crew. Don't forget about them. All right, here's how you figure out if you have red flags. Now, before you get into any relationship with someone else, it's crucial to nurture the relationship with yourself. The road to self-discovery and self-improvement starts with self-assessing your emotional and relationship triggers. This is very important, triggers. When you better understand your own triggers, you're taking a major step in creating a healthier and more fulfilling relationship, not just with yourself, but with others. How do you uncover your own red flags? This is the question. Journaling is a great way to get your emotions on paper and help you identify the patterns in your behavior that could be holding you back. When you take the time to reflect on your actions and reactions, hello, you'll be surprised at what revelations will come to light. Now, friends and family, they're also great resources. These are people that you already have close relationships with and will likely give you honest feedback about your behavior. This can sometimes be a tough pill to swallow, so stay open and stay receptive. It'll be helpful to you in the long run, I promise. And of course, therapy is always a great tool to gain perspective on your behavior. All of those things that need some attention to when it comes to relationships, therapy will help. Ah, here's how you learn to care less about rejection. Now, first, I want you to reframe rejection as an opportunity to grow and learn. It's not a personal failure, but a chance to find a better fit. Remember, not everyone likes everyone else. You don't, right? You don't like everyone else. So focus on your self-worth and confidence. Self-care is key. Remind yourself of your unique qualities and achievements. Rejection does not define you. Embrace a growth mindset. Remember, rejection is just the stepping stone to finding the right connection. Prioritize your activities, all those things that make you feel good, whether it be mentally or physically, and also surround yourself with your crew, right? The supportive friends and family members. Now, if you need to take time off from dating and recharge, you know what I say? Do it. I guarantee you'll bounce back even stronger. And remember, everyone, everyone faces rejection. Each rejection will bring you closer to the right match. And you can celebrate all of your successes along the way, whether they be big or small. They'll outweigh any of those rejections. Dating yourself is the most important thing. I want you to practice self-love, build your confidence, 
do the work and make sure you take yourself out every once in a while. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you wanna see more dirt being dished. There's always plenty of it. Until then, happy dating.